Chairman, members of the board, uh, the, municipal, the tax rate for 2018 has been approved by the State Department of Revenue Administration. The total rate is $17.02 per thousand dollars of valuation. The rate for the town is $9.27. No, $6.27. $6.27, wow. yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm reading ahead of myself here. Uh, the rate for the town is $6.27, which is down five cents. The rate for the school is $7.53, which is up 68 cents. Yeah. The school rate, the state school rate is $2.20, which is no change from 2017. The county rate is 102, which is up two cents, and the precinct rate is 83 cents, which is up 17 cents. The precinct precinct exact exempt rate is seven cents, which is down one cent. Those are for people who yeah. file for the exemptions not to pay for the entertainment portion of the precinct budget. Right. The State Department of Transportation continues work on paving, striping, and cleaning up Route 101 in Hampton. Most of that work's been done at this point. They're just cleaning up now. You gotta be careful of the workers in the roadway, though. Know, uh, they were out there working the other day and it was kind of foggy. Uh, they were hard to see. The State Department of Natu Natural and Cultural Resources will hold its park uh, community meeting on November 7, 2018 from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at the Seashell Oceanfront Pavilion, the second floor in Hampton Beach. Public is cordially invited. Uh. The state election will be held on Tuesday, November 6, 2018 at Winnicott High School from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Absentee ballots are available upon application of the town clerk's office for those who are not available to vote on that day. Zoning petitions for the annual town meeting may be filed with the Board of Selectmen starting November 12, 2018 through, no, through December 12, 2018. Petition warrant articles may be filed with the Board of Selectmen's office until January 8, 2019. Um, the President of the United States has, uh, in fact, signed this bill, all 121 pages of it, which, and part of that allows for the dredging of Hampton Harbor and Seaboard Harbor. Oh, my so, soul. What's uh, the time frame? Uh, well, I suspect it's going to be 2019 because by the time they get everything done, the bids out and the material done, it's going to it's going to take a while for it to get done. My but 2019. So, and so, we're actually. But we were lucky. It. If it wasn't for our two United States yeah. senators, yeah. it would not have even gotten in the legislation this year. It would have had to wait till 2020 or 2000. Isn't that awful? Yeah. So, well, thank them. It's you know we could thank work. them for all their hard work because they really did a lot of work to get that yeah. done. Yeah, I would like to thank them. Can yes. we officially thank them as a board? Yeah. Could we send them a, just yes. a letter? Yeah. While we're planning on doing that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Last week you had a gentleman come in and complain about the. Uh, um, Joe Billy Brown Park yeah. and, and access to it. And, and uh, we went down to the examination. Uh, the material he's talking about actually is dune grass. Oh. It's grown quite lengthy down there. Oh. But I'm glad I did go down and look because there's a lot of uh, itinerant weeds that are not supposed to be there that are starting to crowd out the dune grass. Oh. So we had the recreation department who maintains that area go down and start removing some of those itinerant weeds and Excellent. farming them off to some other place to live. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, at our compost pile. So. Good. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Any questions? Yeah, on quick one, Fred. What's the status of our meeting on November 1st? Uh, I think we're going to decide that in a few minutes. Oh, because the council is here. Business ah, and, okay. and he has. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 